What did you bring me up for? The headset's playing up. Conditions are getting worse. We are bought now. There's only two more drums down there. Up anchor. Sir. Head for shore. Right, sir. Get the cylinder stone. Mike, Mike, I saw them. I could get them up in 15 minutes. We're out of here, Pete. You lost your bottle, mate. I'm not taking risks. Secure the deck. See you, Mike. See ya. No! Come here, you. You like that stuff on the telly? Come, hey, come here. Liam. Come here. Come here. Hey, sit. Stay there. I won't be long, all right? I thought there was intelligent life out there. I must have left my brain on Pluto to agree to this. Full breakfast. Uh, just tea and toast, please. Thank
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the sponsors, Simpsons Confectionery, uh, I'd like to thank all our lovely contestants for taking part in the Miss Bridehaven Gala Queen contest. Give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen. So, before uh, we judges make our difficult decision, I'd like to ask all our beautiful contestants to give us one final circle. My money's on Kelly Blake. I thought you'd consider this sexist exploitation. Absolutely not. I'm a post-millennium feminist. And what does that mean? It means every year, Councillor Simpson makes a very large donation to the police fund. Go on, Anita. I've got great love. Looks like Kelly tried a novel of judge. I hope her mum doesn't try the same thing next week. I'm going to the post office. Do you want anything? No, it's all right, I'll go. Why? Well, fresh air will do me good. She went ahead, didn't she? After all I said. She thought the prize money might come in handy. Tony Simpson sacks me and brands me a thief for nicking a bit of poxy rock. And what does my daughter do? Cavorts in front of him, semi-naked. Jason thought it'd wind him up. Oh, I bet Simpson's loving it. And the title of Miss Bridehaven Gala Queen is Marilyn Stevens. Yeah! Stop! It's a fix. Acting like that she's got boobs like a hubcap. That can't be right. They fixed it. Fix. They shot it. Mum wants you both home now. It's a fix. What? Fix. 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 What you do, Marilyn? I'll wrap his rock for him. What's that all about? Liam and the Blade family have a history. Never heard of him. I want to work with you. Yeah, that's why I'm here. About the preparations for the regatta. All under control. Yeah, well, we can't afford any confusion on the way out. One collision... There won't be a collision. But we can save the cockiness for later. You've never organised an event like this before. And check the beach for campers. When do I get the new deputy? The council are considering the appointment. Well, I'll consider checking the beach. Look, tomorrow is very important for the economic well-being of this community. Our visitors need to see the friendly, caring face of Bridehaven. Oi, you bloody stupid woman! Get away from that car! Look at this. What do you think? What about Simpson? I mean about the outfit. It's fruity. Meddling is a medical condition with Tony Simpson. That's why he became a counsellor. I don't know what Holly Morrow ever saw in him. No wonder she left him for a golf caddy. Holly Morrow loved Councillor Simpson very much when she married him. She particularly loved his arcade rock factory and other business interests. How's your love life? I can ask. 
I'm your closest relative. You're my only relative. Why don't you come to Lombarda, Klaus, on Thursday? There's something about grinding hips with people that does away with formalities. What should I do about this afternoon? I thought you didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, you're right, I don't know. Thanks for lunch. Mum, if he's hungry, he'll eat. He's a growing boy. Peter was out more than you. I'll go and get the swore figure. So, what about Mike Nichols? Is he going to show his face this afternoon? He sent a very nice note when they brought Pete home. <laughs> Bit of coward stays away. Thought you didn't want him there. Hiya. Can I go and see the sea? Sure, if you want to miss the water slide. Go and to the water slide? The last one to get their coffee pies and milkshakes. <laughs> myself to see you before. No, I, I understand. I'm... You see, I had all these questions churning round in my head, only I... I don't think I had the courage to look in your eyes and see he was really dead. I mean, without a body, there's always hope, but when they suddenly rang and told me they'd found him, I mean, after nine months, I, I didn't know what to feel. I mean, all that time at the bottom of the sea. I'm glad you got him home. I've read the Admiralty report over and over. They're very complimentary about you. Maybe I'm stupid, but I can't seem to get beyond the words. The center type letter. Pete was a valued member of his team. He will be greatly missed by all his fellow crew members. Well, not just the crew. He's missed by everyone. Pete only joined up because of you. We joined together, you know that. You see, what I don't understand, what it doesn't say in all those pages, you were in command. How could you let it happen? It was an accident. I think that was the hardest part. My Pete being dead. And you still here. I hated you these last nine months. And then, when they brought him home, I started remembering. You are bloodying Tom Shannon's nose because he thumped our feet. You used to be inseparable. Whatever went on, we're burying him this afternoon if you want to say goodbye at the church. There's, um... Jane, now you're here. She was always so jealous of you and Pete. Well, thanks for coming. I appreciate how difficult it must have been. You didn't run away. You came home. Take some courage. Sir? How are you? How's civilian life? Fine, thank you, sir.
I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon earth. All of us here this afternoon understand only too well the power the sea has over our lives. It provides our food, our livelihoods, and sometimes it takes away our sons. In Pete, it took a young man who was the loving and much loved son of Nancy and Bill. A caring brother, a loyal friend. Someone who liked to laugh and joke, whose hat trick in the cup final of the Southwest League is still talked about in the Bridehaven Arms today. We can take comfort in the knowledge that Pete lived life to the full before his sad and tragic accident. Let us remember in our prayers Nancy, Bill, Jane, and Jake. Now, as they're finally able to lay their dearly beloved to rest, May they find peace in the knowledge that he is once more among his family and friends. Party party! Holy one! Fire! Lovely service, Reverend. Thank you, George. Very moving. Thank you. Tell me, how is Richard? You must be very proud of him. I am. I'm glad Mike came. Lovely do, Nancy. Very, uh, convivial. Drink, George. Very nice, thanks. Bill? Tony. Look, um, <clears throat> take a couple of days off. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I'll be in on Monday. Uh, the lad died nine months ago. Oh, well, if you're sure. First thing you can do is take a look at the toffee machine. Coming out like bleeding boomerangs. <laughs> Hello? Hey, don't worry. He's more scared of you than you are of him. Why? He had an unusual childhood. Me too. I haven't got a dad. Do you mind? It's great most of the time. Except for when Mum plays in the parents' eleven. He's probably kicking a ball about with the kids on the green. Why don't we go and have a look? Have you got a boat? 
Yeah, I've got two. Uh, one in the yard I'm rebuilding. My Uncle Pete died at sea. He dived in and never came back. Seen a hammerhead shark? Every time I visit my bank manager. Now, the summer of 95 was so hot, I actually saw some off the Isle of Wight. I told you not to go near the water on your own. Not on my own. Mike's here. Go back to the cafe with Elvis, please. Well, go not. back. <sighs> Trifle's waiting. Trying to make it up to Jake now he's got no uncle to play with. Maybe this isn't the best time. Oh, now seems great to me. Today I buried my brother. My brother was an excellent diver. He died under your command. Have you seen what it's done to my mum and dad? The sacrifices they made for us. Pete was their pride and joy. I keep imagining it. His fear. Nothing left in his lungs, all alone in the darkness. What the hell were you doing when he was down there? Warming your toes on the bridge? Did you watch the air bubbles pop into the surface? What did you think when they stopped, Mike? How did you feel when they stopped? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't know. I miss him. I just miss him. <laughs> Coming to the church doesn't make it right. Mike, can't turn your back for a minute. Jane's bound to be upset. Whatever she said yeah, it's to you. It's all right. It's been an emotional day for all of us. Look. He found a bottle of schnapps. Left the rough on the lid a hose and theme night. Cool, don't put a light near him. The guy's inflammable. Come on. <laughs> I'll make sure I get home. All right. Oh. Thanks, you're a pal. I should put that down. Put that down. Oh, my. Drop these sandwiches off with him, will you? Right, sir. Oh. Oh. He overdid it a bit. Put him to bed. No, thanks. It was good of you to bring him home. Excuse me. <sighs> Stupid lump. That's his swim, do ya? Come on, come on. Leave him alone. Oh, well, let's get the facts straight here. The dog belongs to me. You said goodbye the day you threw him in the harbor. Yeah, well, you overreacted. Everyone knows dogs can You swim. go near him again and you'll be in the harbor. I'm keeping well away. People end up dead around you. What's going on? It's not your problem. So what did Arnie want? Look at him. What an embarrassment. He can't even hold his boots. And you can. Yeah. He's had a rough couple of years. He deserves a bit of fun. Well, he might as well just dance naked round a green and give us all a laugh. Oh, that's enough, Jason. Just you put your dad to bed. Well, why should I? I am fed up with this constant battle. Why can't you just do as you're asked for once? I've got enough to worry about without... Mum. That's all right. Now, Lou, are you done?
chicken fricassee. Mr. Hudson in number nine had a nosebleed, so there was a portion over. Well, thank you very much. You're looking very glam. Sam Lockett and I are going for tech trips in town. Hot day. It's hard to get romantic about a man who guts fish for a living. Did you talk to Jane? She made her feelings known. Come and chew on a taco. I don't think they have gooseberries in Mexico. Mm. Now, you go and enjoy yourself. And don't let Sam stick his finger in the salsa. Remember what happened last time? You know, when you and Pete were young, you were never away from the water. Yeah, well, you have no fear when you're young. You think you're invincible. Jane just loves everything about the sea. Boots, shells, sharks, squid. I know it's hard after what's happened. But Jake isn't going to thank you if you don't let him fend for himself. Uh, something about being back, you know. When I'm in London, I just get on with it. I'm a single mother. I worry about money. It's more straightforward. Here, there's, there's, there's Mum fussing, there's Dad looking at me like we just met yesterday. <laughs> there's a grief hanging around the house like a fog, and they won't talk about it. You know, I sometimes wonder if they're thinking, why couldn't it have been... <laughs> Thanks for the wine. It's lovely. A petulant little number. At least it makes a bigger petulant when he's had a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, I meant that, you know, thanks for not judging for everything. This business with Mike. Heck no. Please. We're mates. Let's not spoil things, eh? Whatever you say, sweetheart. My dog, if you think it turned him against you in the kitchen. Good. Give my dog back, you thief. I want my dog. Get off, Look, I'm sorry, he's drunk. Yeah, we'll take him home and we'll talk about it in the morning. Right, that's it. Oh. I'm gonna do you, Nichols. Concussion. Keep an eye on for the next couple of days. And vitamin C and painkillers for the hangover. Yeah, thanks. If you ever want to come and talk about things. No, thanks. I picked all the big bits of glass up. Didn't know where you kept your brush. Any reason why I shouldn't report them to the police? No, go on, make everyone today. The Blade family, disgrace to the community. First the mum nicks rock. Now the son tries to kidnap a dog. <gasps> They'll be quaking in their bed. We're talking about criminal damage here, attempted assault. He and my mum had a set too. He pretends he isn't, but he's gutted. Well, he pays me back in full, including the cost of the labour. You're not going to prosecute? Well, your mum's got enough to cope with. Besides, I suspect Jason would enjoy the notoriety. Tell him to come and see me when he sobers up. Yeah, thanks. Well, everyone deserves a second chance. 
But if you were your brother... Oh, yeah, that's right. Lump me in with him. I'd move away, only... Only what? I don't want to leave Mum. She worked ten years for Tony Simpson. Talk about second chances. We don't even like rock. So why'd she take it? Well, it's not just her, it's everyone. He was only paying two fifty an hour till a month ago. She flogged it on the market. Dad took out a loan on the boat. He was drunk when he did his legging. The insurance wouldn't cover it. All right, he messes up sometimes, but he isn't a total joke. So why aren't you looking for work? <laughs> Do you know how many job applications I've filled in? Well, there must be something. Night shift on the burger bar, high season only. Have you thought about applying for the job of deputy harbour master? Yeah, funny. I've seen you handle your dad's boat. Be hard work. <sighs> What's the catch? Well, you get to do all the boring stuff and wear the uniform. And what about Simpson? He's my worry. I don't get it. Why? Do you want the job or not? Yeah. Thanks. Right. Now get your stinking brother out of my house. Now, don't start the race until you get the all-clear signal from me. Testing, testing. Well, I've asked Steve Blade to be the Deputy Harbour Master. Bloody hell! Sorry. Sorry! It's not in your jurisdiction. That job can only be offered by the Planning Committee, followed by lengthy discussions with the Tourism Committee... Well, look how much time I've saved you. His mother is a thief. If that's true, then why aren't you prosecuting your entire production? <laughs> Do you have any idea how much petty theft eats into the profits? It had to stop. Look, I want him for the job. If you won't do it for Rita, then do it for yourself. <laughs> and how exactly am I supposed to benefit from this? Well, you're trying to buy land off St Mary's, right? Yeah. <laughs> Magmanimous counsellor helps son of criminal employee find work. It'll go down very well at the convent. Well, all right. But if Steve Blade messes up, you're both out of a job. Councillor Simpson can be pretty persuasive. Thanks. I mean, thanks. I well, don't get too excited. You'll need all your concentration for the regatta. Start now. Three month trial period. I'm not dealing with this lot on my own. aren't coming back this year, then. His... his past haunts him. Will he ever get over it? Well, I don't know. It's changing, and there's What? Time's up. Well, 
It says up there, two pounds for five minutes. I've got other customers waiting. Maybe it's like right, you cheating fraud. Next time you want a partner for the rumba, you can forget it. So it's true, is it? I thought Mum had picked the wrong mushrooms. Would you tell her about your face? I told her I walked into a door. Give us a fiver and we'll call it compensation. No. Well, you can afford it. You're working now. I haven't been paid yet, have I? Well, take a sub. Danger money. People have accidents working when they cops. You're a liability? Mike did you a big favour last night. If it had been me, I'd have had you banged up. All right, whatever he's a saint, I see him walk across the harbour for breakfast. Come on, let me go. You got a problem? You wanted a chat with Jason? Well, it looks to me like you're handling it. You screw this up for me, and they'll never find the body. Captains would like to make their way out to the start of the race, please. If you'd like to make your way out to the start line, would Janet Rhodes from Cleethorpe meet her mum at the fish and chip store? That's Janet Rhodes from Cleethorpe. Just to explain the rules, ladies and gentlemen. The first flare signifies the start of the trawler race, at which point the speedboats will then line up. The second flare signifies the start of the speedboat race. Now, once all the contestants are in position, on the red flag from me, this one here, the harbour master will give them the starting gun. Tell you what, why don't you leave Jake here for the rest of the holiday? Your dad and I love having him around, and it'll do him good. All that lovely sea air instead of those awful fumes. Try getting out of a back dressed as an orange. Could the owner of car registration number H34 please come forward? Thank you. 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 There goes Dr. Henry, dressed as an orange. Come on, Henry, get a move on. You have to wait long enough to see a doctor on the NHS these days. I went to see Dr. Henry the other day. He said, open the window and stick your tongue out. I said, why? He said, I don't like the man across the street. Looks as if... 
also lined up for the start of the Bright Haven Gala Regatta, sponsored by Simpson's Confectionery. Remember out there, anyone who breaks ranks before the gun buys the drinks. On your marks. He's probably out on the pier trying to get a closer look at the boats. Falls in. You take the west pier, I'll take the east. Yeah, uh, listen, you stay here in case he comes back. Mom. Get set. Go! Missing. His name is Jake Ford. He's seven years old and he's wearing a navy anorak and a striped t shirt. So if anyone sees him, can they let Elvis at the cafe know? Okay, and Jake's son, if you can hear this. Have you seen Jake? He's gone missing. He's probably okay. watching the trawler race somewhere. But Jane's got herself in a bit of a state. It's understandable. Speedboats, on your marks. Get set. Brighthaven Gala Regatta and the Simpsons Confectionery Cup, the Portland Princess. <laughs> What about the emergency vessels? Well, no one else saw it. I circled the area to keep the other boats away. Right, thanks. Are you okay? What were you doing on that boat? Did Dr. Reese invite you? I just wanted a ride. But do you realize how dangerous that was? You could have died out there. Do you understand that? Please don't tell Mum. Well, of course I've got to tell your mum. She'll be wondering where you are. I'm her best boy. Well, she'd just be glad to have you back in one piece. It's scary when she cries. Her nose goes red. Yeah, I know. When Uncle Pete died, she cried all the time. I told her lots of jokes, but it didn't work. She finds out about me and the sea. Please don't tell her. Please. Yeah, all right. But you never go on a boat again without permission. You always wear a life jacket. And don't go off without telling your mum, all right? Deal.
And the mayor hands the captain on behalf of the crew of the Portland Princess, the Simpson Confectionery Cup. Uh, if you could help by making sure you take all your litter with you, the harbour master and I would be very grateful. Passing boat. Well, where was he? How come he was on your boat? He wanted to watch the race. Are you saying you took him out to sea? I'm sorry, Mum. You took him out? No thought of asking me? It was my fault. I'm his mother. He's seven years old, for God's sake. I mean, all the confusion, the boats. He, he could have had an accident. He, he could have drowned. We took good care of him. I don't understand. How could you do this to me? Yesterday, I, I thought maybe... But I was wrong. You're a despicable and unfeeling man. Monday morning, we're leaving this place and we're never coming back. Well, another extremely successful regatta. Well done. <clears throat> yeah, everything went very smoothly. 